Ever since AI started getting smarter, people have been nervous about their jobs. They've been told to pick careers that AI can't do, like doctors, teachers, or software engineers. But guess what? The software engineers are in danger as a new startup company, Cognition, just launched the first AI software engineer tool, Devon. Well, let me tell you that it has passed real Upwork jobs and tests from big tech companies, and it seems like coding will never be the same again. So Devon may be the name, but for software engineers, it's a devil. The AI tool can change the game in code writing and debugging. 41% of all code on GitHub right now is AI generated. It is our job to create computing technology such that nobody has to program. Devon, the first AI software engineer. How is Devon unique compared to other AI tools? There were many AI tools like GitHub, Copilot, and GPT-4, which were already pretty good at coding. However, the landscape suddenly shifted with the introduction of Devon, because this is not your average AI tool, man. It is specifically designed to function as a pro software yeah. engineer. Developed by Cognition Labs, Devon is quite unique from other AI tools. It can utilize developer tools such as terminals, browsers, and code editors, which enables it to handle problems in the exact same manner as a human software engineer does. Well, this involves searching the web for solutions, integrating them into code, and iteratively refining the process until the problem is fully solved. Not like you who got mad after the third try. It represents a step beyond existing AI by integrating action and reaction through technology, similar to AutoGPT. Comparatively, Devon significantly outperforms other AIs in software engineering benchmarks, particularly in addressing real-world issues on GitHub. So while GPT-4 solves such problems with a mere 1.74% success rate, this devil Devon boasts a 13.86% success rate, which is again huge. Just think how good GPT is at 1.74%, but this will be 13.86%. So how does this Devon work so smartly? Well, when you give Devon a prompt or instruction, it springs into action. It analyzes the request, taps into its vast database of knowledge, and conjures up code like a digital sorcerer. So whether it's Python, JavaScript, or some other language, Devon's got it covered. Um, websites? No problem. Devon can whip up a sleek site faster than you can say HTML. It designs layouts, tweaks CSS, and even throws in some interactive elements. All this without breaking a digital sweat. Need software? Devon's got your back. It crafts applications, stitches together APIs, and orchestrates complex systems. It's like having an entire development team in your pocket. But let me tell you the bonus point of it. Devon doesn't just follow instructions blindly. It thinks ahead, anticipates tricky challenges, and solves problems like a seasoned engineer. So does it mean that this is the end for software engineers? Well, after the news of Devon, software engineers have gone crazy. Ah! And why not? They've spent years learning and practicing different programming languages, only to see an AI tool come along one day and change their lives. Sad life. On social media, tech influencers and famous developers are talking about Devon. Some are calling it revolutionary while others are worried about what it means for the future of coding. Reports indicate that Devon isn't just good, it's outperforming other AIs in coding benchmarks. It's not just about writing code, Devon is thinking like an engineer, and that's got everyone in the tech world paying attention. Tweets from big names in the industry are pouring in, with some amazed by Devon's capabilities, and others concerned about the impact on software engineering jobs. Some, including NVIDIA CEO Jensen Huang, already predicted it a few days back and envision a future where AI democratizes programming, eliminating the need for traditional coding skills. It is our job to create computing technology such that nobody has to program and that the programming language is human. Everybody in the world is now a programmer. This is the miracle of artificial intelligence. The countries, the people that understand how to solve a domain problem in digital biology or in education of young people or in manufacturing or in farming, those people who understand domain expertise 
now can utilize technology that is readily available to you. You now have a computer that will do what you tell it to do. It is vital that we upskill everyone and the upskilling process, I, I believe, will be delightful, surprising. Well, he's not the only one. Many other big names tweeted and posted about this hot topic. For example, renowned computer scientist and YouTuber Andre Karpathy compares the growth of autonomous driving to the automation of software engineering. In the tweet, he suggests that AI in software is getting smarter gradually, starting with simple help and moving towards more complex tasks. Now, this means that in the future, AI could handle routine coding, freeing up human developers to focus on bigger problems. Devon is a big step in this direction, as it can coordinate different tools and work more independently. Carpathy also talks about the importance of easy interaction between humans and AI in software development. This means creating interfaces that let developers guide and correct AI effectively. Devon's potential is not limited to problem solving. It also includes the ability to learn new technologies, develop and deploy applications, debug and enhance existing code, and even train AI models. This broad range of capabilities has attracted significant investment from influential figures in Silicon Valley, signaling a strong interest in automating programming roles. And you know what? I think he's right. Imagine a company that used to hire four software engineers. Now, with AI like Devon, they might only need to hire two of the absolute best, and the AI can handle the rest of the tasks. So, it's important to be the one who stays in the company, not the one who gets replaced because of new innovations and in technology. This applies not just to software engineering, but to any field you're in. Strive to be the top performer, so good that even AI can't replace you. While Devon and other AI tools are impressive, they're still not competing with the best human talent. As AI like Devon improves, software engineers might spend more time overseeing and coming up with creative solutions instead of just writing code. This shift could lead to increased productivity and the ability to tackle more challenging problems. However, parallels are drawn between the excitement surrounding Devon and previous technologies like self-driving cars and 3D printing which, despite their initial promise, have yet to revolutionize the world as anticipated. Critics argue that while AI tools are useful for simple tasks, their effectiveness diminishes with the complexity of the problem, often doing more harm than good. Overall, this is just the beginning of AI and software. Some people might be excited, while others might be worried. It'll be interesting to see how other companies respond and what the future holds for coding. For now, let me know what you think about this matter. Is this the end of software engineers? Or is it a whole new start for software engineers? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And check out these videos on your screen for more interesting and AI-related content.